not just problems, but failure, shutting down, or inflammation of the kidneys. Drinking at least, what, six, eight out glasses of liquid, preferably water, each day should help reduce the chances of forming a kidney stone. Reduce the chances. Call your doctor or other health care provider if you develop kidney pains, middle or lower pain in the back of the stomach, or blood in your urine. Now, when you started taking this bad boy, you didn't have blood in your urine. But now you're taking it to help you, you get blood. What if every time you ate your fruit and vegetables, you got blood in your urine? Hmm? And these people take about 20 of these things every day. Some patients treated with Crexivan have had rapid breakdown of red blood cells. Hemolytic anemia, which in some cases was severe or what? <laughs> Resulted in death. <laughs> Synchronicity. And people reading this shit will just look over it and say, well, I got to go get my Crixivan. <laughs> Some patients treated with Crixivan, they ain't stopped yet. Some patients treated with Crixivan have had, their, had liver problems, including liver failure. And what? Yeah. Some patients had other illnesses or were taking other drugs. It is uncertain if Crixivan caused these liver problems. Why would you put anything out that has always been killing people, but admit it and have people still buy it? Why would you think people would still do that? Yes. The synthetic conversation in their mind is that the doctor knows what is right. And that your own inner reading this shit, it's like, Oh, okay, well, it could happen. <laughs> but I know that I'm dying right now. So since it, I can weigh it between it could happening and the inevitability of my death. But check this out. It gets deep. <clears throat> Diabetes and high blood sugar have occurred in patients taking protease inhibitors. In some of these patients, this led to what? Catis Ketoacidosis, a serious condition caused by poorly controlled blood sugar. Some patients had diabetes before starting protease inhibitors, others did not. Some patients required adjustments to their diabetes medication. Others needed new diabetes medication. In some patients with hemophilia, increased bleeding was reported. Severe muscle pain and weakness have occurred in patients taking protease inhibitors, including Crixivan, together with some of the cholesterol-lowering medicines called statins. Call your doctor if you develop, I mean, this is crazy. It's causing the very problem that these, these drugs were said to be uh, able to cure. But you guess what? Because you all are all hooked up in the synchronicity, you now believe the doctor, and of course, you're not looking at what is being said here, okay? You got a smile.